a show is really an event. This idea started percolating in my head to do a show about Livingston, my hometown. This painting was the first painting that I created for the show. And I was working from an old black and white photograph that I found online of our square, of our courthouse in particular. This painting was a difficult painting for me to do, to be quite honest, because I was having to fill everything in. I was thinking about the color, I was thinking about the shadow, and this was done about two and a half years ago. Then things changed. 2020 rolled around, so there I was with all of this spare time. I was outside often and, and town was just very quiet and all of these subjects just kind of came flooding to me at one time. And it was things like being able to be out walking around Livingston at, you know, 1130 in the morning. Livingston is surrounded by these hills that sort of go straight up. Our square sets against a really tall hill. So that creates a lot of shadow and the colors that that, that brings about. I was able to see things in a way that I had never seen them before. It was really interesting and it changed the direction of that show drastically. Everything was just there and it just happened. And when the, you know, the sun is sort of either coming up or setting, the shadows are very interesting. So I do tend to walk either early in the morning or late in the day. This painting, it depicts a building that is in the middle of town now, it started its life, I think, in the late 1870s on our town square. It was occupied at one point by Governor H. Roberts. And one of the great things that he did, he called a session of the state legislature together to vote on the women's right to vote, which ratified the 19th Amendment. So, you know, if you're, if you're able to come to the show and see the work, you'll, you'll see a lot, of, a lot of color, a lot of things from sort of the spring season, things that are also sort of quiet in mood because that's what was going on. And, and so there was this, this moment of kind of being able to portray Livingston and see Livingston in this really kind of Edward Hopper kind of way, in this very quiet, low-key, subtle, easy moments. And, and all, although the world was really kind of falling apart, there was this really sort of strange beauty going on for me at that time. It was like a waterfall. Things just started flowing in. And I was sort of, sort of overwhelmed with everything that I was seeing once I got the flow going and got started. There is a painting of the Overton Farmers Co-op, and it, it was in the center of town. My grandfather was the manager of the Overton Farmers Co-op for many years at that location back in the 50s and 60s and my parents both worked there when they were young. You can see some of those hills that we mentioned earlier. They play a large part in the way that we see light in Livingston with you know, the shadows and, and the way that light is reflected from the clouds onto those hills and from the hills onto the buildings. So a lot of the paintings are very quiet paintings of Livingston, meaning there are no cars, there are no people, but lots of bright kind of high key colors with those really intense greens that we see in March and April in the Upper Cumberland. And that opened my eyes to kind of a different way of looking at my hometown. The landscape is kind of an outlier within the show. It is the only large landscape that's included in the exhibit. Actually the farm that's been in my family for about five generations or more is in that cove. The photograph that I worked from on that was, was taken actually during the summer when some of the the smoke from the wildfires out west had settled into town. So everything had this haze over it and the light was filtered through the smoke and the perspective was skewed in a way that I had never really seen it before. When, when I started the process of, of having exhibits and shows and things years ago, the sales were the, were the biggest thing for me. And now they're not. The thing is doing, is doing the work and creating the paintings. And I can tell you that I would be fine if none of those paintings sold.